Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Cards Action. Now we're going to be continuing on with our new little series here of taking a look at user submitted decks, or I guess commenter submitted decks. Trying them out for five games in the first video, and then the second video I go in there um, and just tinker around with things that I probably should have never tinkered around with uh, to try and create a little bit more of a quote unquote better deck hard to say but anyways today we're going to be looking at um rebel scouts japan deck now he mentioned sorry they mentioned uh that um there was a bunch of surprises in this deck and i looked over it boy oh boy is there surprises um and a really interesting uh number of cars in each so we only got two expansions only two Type 94s. Um, we've got two 15th Cavalry, a single Sonya, one Type 93, a single Careless Talk, a single Jaeger Regiment, uh, three Toratoras, two Panzers, one K20, KI-27-8, a single for Prosperity, a single Beast Falcon. You can see here, just a lot of one-offs. You say 22nd Infantry Regiment, two Naval Operations. We've got a Scouting Party in here, a single Blitzkrieg, a Type 97 Chiha, a single Kota Bushido, one Marauder, one Enigma Bombing Raid, one single Calm Before the Storm, a single Sendai Regiment, and then Kika and KI 83 to finish off the top curve. So a whole bunch of singles, which Usually when you have a bunch of one or two units, the deck isn't as consistent because obviously you might be drawing the same amount of cards, but they're going to be a mismatch because, you know, your chances of hitting a particular card are diminished when you have less of them in your deck. It's just basic math. So we're going to give this a try. I am going to see how all these cards play because... I wouldn't know where to make edits because there really isn't too much of a theme in this deck. We kind of have a pin theme with the naval operations and the single Sonya. And then we have, you know, a little bit more of a, oh, sorry, the Type 94 does pin. We've got some uh, card draw with the expansion and 33rd Recon. And then we also have Scouting Party. And then we've got some... Um, you know, some sort of kamikaze with the code of Bushido. Blitzkrieg in Type 97 has got uh, a little bit more of a, you know, go wide strategy. So, and then obviously we've got Yamato and Combo 4. So, like I said, we're going to play a bunch of games here. See what in the deck shines and what it doesn't. And then hopefully we'll be able to kind of tick around and see if we can make those things that do shine, shine even more. With that being said, I'll see you guys for round number one. All right, here we go. Round one with our, or I should say, Rebel Scouts. Um, Japanese German aggro deck here. Against Germany it makes me feel like maybe some sort of uh, countermeasure deck. So let's keep some stuff that'll give us a little bit of... Uh, Lasting power here. All right, turn one, I'm going to play this because if it gets hit by careless, we at least draw it. Okay, no careless. Good sign there. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. So we just move this up to the front, pass the turn. We're at least going to get two hits off, which is pretty nice. Allied. Huh. 
wonder if he's going to decide. This has um, amb oh, sorry, smoke screen, so I have to worry about getting hit with the T19. But okay, I was wondering if he's going to hit us with the Flampanzer instead, but he chose not to. Play another unit, he does. Okay, well, I'm definitely naval operating there. We've got our nice little 3 1 ambush in the front line here. Next turn, I can drop the Ryusei, kill off the Flampanzer. Fair enough. Play this first just in case it dies. Oh, I wanted that to go in there. Oh, well. all right, pass the turn here. Oof. Let's play this first. This. And. Sure, let's get a scary KI 83 here. Nice way to refill our hand. Just start being really aggressive here. There, it's seven. Kind of have some pretty impressive. Okay. If it doesn't kill this. Okay. Yeah, a two, four. Yeah, that would have still done it. All right, nice sweet W there. Um, yeah, worked there. We'll uh, see you for round number two. All right, we are back against AC-130 driver. Oh my lord. AC-130 above us. I've played way too much Modern Warfare. Uh, let's keep the careless talk and see what happens. And I'll keep the infantry in the Type 94 there. I guess we'll play the Careless Talk. Next turn we'll drop the Type 94. Ha 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 ha. Very nice, very nice. Next turn I can move this to the front. Get a beef down and an infantry. Yep. Sure, let's do this. Hopefully we get another card, another round for the uh, 22nd to draw. Get some good value. We also have the KI-46 Dina. Aw, oh, there goes the... Uh... Oh. That's surprising, to be quite honest with you. Um... Guess we'll take our next draw. Naval operations seems like it's going to be useless this game, so I'll have to keep that in mind.
Fair enough. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good calm before the storm off. Friendly infantry, a plus one, okay. So I think we go here. Here. Start trying to bring him back down here. One has three cars in hand. 23 health, 2, 3. We do have a crypt full of cards. This KI-83 actually helps them more than it helps us for now, so we might hold off on it. We're just going to keep the board nice and clean because we just are scared of anything kind of going crazy. What is... okay. Now that's an interesting one. I'm gonna hold this in my hand just in, for a surprise factor. That's why I didn't play it with the uh, before the calm before the storm here. That's the turn here. We got a good amount of damage. We got the front line. They're top decking here, so. Oh. Let's see which one he kills. Fair. Fair, fair. That's spicy. I'm assuming our 15 takes another hit here. Still the one with the KI because it does help them out more. Yeah, let's hold off. Maybe I'll play the next one just to get some damage in, but for now we'll hold off. I don't know what the second card in their hand is. They haven't played it. Oh. That hurts me so... Okay. Fortunately, I think now we play it. As much as I really don't want them to draw cards here, but uh, it's our only real threat that we can deploy.
next turn, what is that, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so next turn we can surprise attack them if they don't deal with this. Oh. It's a good one. I'm deploying everything because we've got the Enigma to refill our hand here. And I, I think we're starting to have the game slip out of our hands. Just trying to be as aggressive as possible here. Interesting. We do have uh, three points of damage here. Not looking good. That's five, nine, ten, eleven damage. He decides to just go for face. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Let's see how this plays out. Oof, still not enough. Ugh, all right, I need to do one damage. I need to draw <laughs> an air unit for this or or just something here. I've got one draw here, one top deck. If you only had one chance, what's up opportunity? Oh! Can I kill? No, I can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. We almost had that one. Okay. Um, yeah, that, uh, that carpet bombing really kind of blew us up, but, uh, uh we, we had a good, up uh, good chance of drawing a bunch of stuff. We still had three, um, yeah, we still had three, uh, kamikaze cards from the Kika, and I think we might have had, uh, one or two more airplanes. Left to draw for the Bushido. That's how it is, I guess. Uh, let's see how we do in round number three. All right, we're back. Facing off against Spambox 9. Let's see how we end up. Okay, let's drop the Tortoise on the Sendai's. Keep the Nate. He's playing Japad, so curious to see what he's... Uh, I'm going to be ringing to the table here. Oh, 
Looks like that those territories would have been nice to keep, but let's see what we do here. Code of Bashir might actually uh, help us clean up a bunch of their uh... You know what? Let's play this. We'll pass the turn. I'm okay taking another two here. I'd like him to play another unit into the code if possible. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted to see here. And let's just play this. Pass the turn here. I think we're okay just uh, drawing a billion cards here. Next turn we can drop the artillery here. Ooh, that's a good one to catch. I did click careless talk, right? I'm not going crazy, right? Okay, it's activated now for sure. Activate it again. I guess the careless talk is bugged. That's pretty annoying because it would have been nice to have some of these things killed that is really unfortunate I guess I'll still activate it even though it's not really doing anything <clears throat> I wonder if there's a way for me to get this working again Oof. hopefully it's just this game and just not this this patch that would really stink Give your Japanese units. Oh, it's everything. Interesting. I always thought it was one unit. Yep, they're at five here, so. Okay, there we go. 
So I think that's still Is there a way to win here? I Is there a way to win here? Probably is, but I'm not seeing it. Give me Japanese units. I wonder if we should have killed the Betty. Oof. Well, that would have just made my life extremely difficult. Well, hopefully the Karasok works next game because that was kind of annoying. But we're 2 and 1. I'm doing pretty well. See you for the fourth round here with Rebel Scouts, um, Japanese. German, uh, I guess you could consider it, consider it an aggressive deck. Take care. All right, we're back. Let's drop the Blitz, keep the Dina and the Naval Operations. They're playing Britain, so I'm assuming we're probably looking at... Uh... Sure, let's keep the one off side. You'll see what it does here. So we're replacing some facing some sort of uh, air deck. This guy's got the cup of tea. No turn one, no turn two. I am officially scared. Let's, I'm going to activate the careless because I'm curious to know if it's still bugged. Um, I'm hoping they play a unit and it triggers, even if it doesn't kill it. Um, just make me feel better. No turn three play either. What is going on? Pass the turn here. Mind you, we're not really punishing the uh, our opponent's slow start here. They're still at 19. Uh, I'll take a take a turn off so I can play the uh, Ki 27 here. Let's see if we get punished for it. Take another turn off. If I didn't attack with both of them, I would just telegraph the careless, I think, so. Oh, let's see what he goes for. Oh, yes, that happens, doesn't it? Let's get this going. Get this going. And activate the careless talk again. Did we overdraw one or two cards there? I think we overdrew two cards there. Okay, hallelujah. Careless talk activated. I feel much better about myself here. It's a pretty spicy one. the turn. Our opponent has a grip full of cards here. Hopefully no bombing rates. It wouldn't be the worst. 
Oh, does he have a way of... He does... Oh my lord. We'll just pass the turn here. Good old Ki eighty three gonna let everyone draw all the cards in the world. Ooh. Yep. That's a good one. Monty was just so good. Um, let's get the Sendai out of <laughs> carpet bombing range for whatever that's worth. <clears throat> We're going to be drawing cards, hopefully, as well with the KI. And we do have Enigma, so. Interesting. Gonna kick of that if we have the opportunity to. I'm gonna play this even though it most likely will get hit. Or might get hit with the commandos if it pops off here. That's two, no, that's just one Potes that we've dealt with, actually. That's a nice hit. Eighteen to eighteen, they've got seven cars, although we do have the Enigma to kind of get us back in there. Fair enough. Hmm. We can replenish, go to eight. I'll draw two. I can hold off. Wait until next turn here. <clears throat>
Well, I've drawn more cards, but I'm a little worried. I am. Ugh. There's a second carpet bombing. I think this is probably out of our. out of our hands here. That's fine. Ugh, that's not what we're looking for. Assuming they've got potezes for draw. We're dealing with a 4 6 infantry. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy. We can do three, six, nine, ten. No, sorry, three, four, eight, eleven. All right, so. So one or the other here. I think we do. Ugh, it's close. This. Oof. That hurts. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to draw condition. Oof. Yeah, looks like our opponent's got us here. Can we kill ourselves? Probably can. Let's see. Huzzah. And huzzah. There we go. All right. Uh, two and two. Uh, that one, we just got blown up twice by uh, cover bombing. Wasn't, uh, we didn't really play around it. Could we have? Probably, but... Alas, that is how she blows. We'll see you for the fifth and final round, seeing if we can end on a positive note here. We're two and two. See you there. All right, we're back. Fifth and final round here against Dolph Paulus. Dolph, Dolph Paulus. I like it. I like all this. Let's keep it. Let's see how we do. Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, perhaps. Okay. They've got a 1 3, we have a 1 2. So far, we're losing, folks. That's surprising, actually. We're not going to trade in there. We're going to move this up and then threaten to get some value and assume he's going to take this chance to kill us off. Really? I am shocked. We'll take our... our value here. Draw again. Oh, that's a mighty fine one. Oh, that is a mighty fine one. Uh, it's nine cards. Holy cow. 
this, this, and pass the turn here. Got our one-two punch with the Sonya and the surprise attack. We can also naval operation in Sonya. Or just naval operation and surprise attack. Yep. Well, that's extremely annoying. But I think we're okay with just doing this. This. Just getting rid of all of our resources here. But that's zeros. Big problem, so I'm okay with that for the time being. Dina's protecting us from the swordfishes here. Swordfish. I lied. They are protecting nothing. Hmm. I'm dropping that to protect myself. I wonder if I should have dropped the KI-83 instead. Hard to say. Okay. Oh, this is probably going to be a short-lived game here. I don't know if there's a way for me to do anything about this. I could do this and let's draw. We've got to uh, surprise attack that. I mean, should technically save us for now, unless our little guy here dies. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Still alive here. Trade off one of the swordfish. Take two. All right. Now, what do we do? <laughs> Uh, nope, that doesn't look like that's going to help us. Let's draw a card here. That also does not help us. Um, uh, uh, uh. We've got nothing. Alright, so let's just do this. And this. And this. Alright. Two and three by the end of that. Um... Seems like we had some, some difficulties against the airplanes. Go figure. Um, but, you know, we had some, some interesting plays there. So um, we're going to call it. And the next video you see here will be me um, attempting to tick around with the deck to see if we can make it, um, let's not say better, because who knows if that's going to happen. So let's say different, because that will definitely happen. See you in the next video. Take care.